on. I forgot to film the intro to the video. Hey, if you're new here, hey, I'm Linda, and if not, what's up? Today you're going to be seeing my HelloFresh box. I just started the HelloFresh box, and I am going to be cooking something for you. You're going to get to watch me cook, because this girl doesn't cook. And how easy and effortless this meal is. And I will put everything in the description box down below. And I will see if I can find a coupon code for you guys to try out for your first box. I cannot wait to see what you guys think of HelloFresh. And of course, don't forget, smash that subscribe button. And hit that bell notification because we all know YouTube isn't working right now. So if you want to see my face more often, smack that bell. So let's just get on into the video. Okay, here's my first HelloFresh box, and I am very intrigued as how they packaged the meals. Each meal is separated into the bags, and they tell you what is in the bag per meal, and I'm just pulling these out of the box to put them away. And as you can see, it just tells you what's in the bag. And those bags are pretty heavy. At the bottom of the box, you can see where it says it recycle me. It has non-toxic material that is freezer material. You can dump it and then the plastic itself is even more recy it's recyclable as well. And it's just amazing. Here's a little bit of ASMR for you guys who love it. And no, I do not use sweet and low. That is not mine. Dude, honey, you gotta see how much stuff is in here. And this is the meal I chose to do as my first meal and this is me trying to figure out how to cook in a very small space we don't have a very big kitchen and that includes very very little counter space as you can see I have no idea how to cut open a pepper I used to work as a bar cook a long while ago and uh, yeah I don't remember how to really do that. And excuse the knife, it's really the only sharp knife that we have. And obviously I don't know what I'm doing. And I've left the sound on in some of these clips just for ASMR purposes. Just because I know a lot of people love that. This meal literally took me exactly 30 minutes to cook. I sped up the process so you guys aren't sitting here watching a 30 minute video of me cutting veggies.
And again, I don't have the most amazing knife. Don't come at me in the comments for that. I don't. Like I said, I don't really cook. We don't have your state of the art cooking utensils when it comes to knives. We don't have all those fancy knives. So I'm using the sharpest knife that we own. And no, don't worry. The nails are acrylic, so even if I were to slice my fingers, it's only going to slice, slice the acrylic off. It's all safe. audio in so you get the ASMR feel. Here I am messing with the cilantro. I'm peeling it like I know how to do. I just know how that is supposed to be. And here's my attempt at cutting wet cilantro. Making a horrible mess. And this is where I get upset with myself. As you can hear, I'm mad. Wait, there's actual footage of me doing this without help. And I'm Except maybe with this onion. Because I can't stand the onion. It hurts my eyes. I actually had to stop cutting the onion. My eyes burned so bad I had to actually leave the kitchen and wash out my eyes. I'm going to come back and chop up the pieces I was able to cut up and place them on that plate. And here's the masterpiece of me cutting up veggies as if though it was really hard. The recipe calls for you putting the veggies on a cookie tray, spreading them out, a little bit of olive oil, the oregano, salt, pepper, and then shoving them in the oven for, I believe it's like 15, 20 minutes. So here we have it, they're ready to go in. Excuse the oven. Like I said, I don't cook grapes and I haven't cleaned the oven and I don't even wanna know how long. Okay, count me wrong. I put them on for 10 minutes because you're supposed to put them on and then f like flip them, move them around so that way nothing gets burnt. And here we're making the whatever it's called. I could have just ate the lime by itself. I like lime and lemon, so this was just fun for me. Mm, that smells good. Now this knife isn't particularly the best knife to be cutting tomatoes with. Um, it ended up turning into a mess. As you can see, the tomato finally given up. So I'm shoving everything into a bowl. And then squeezing the crap out of that. Tiny lime. Okay, it's not tiny. And now you're making the chipotle mix. And of course, you see barking in the background. That's a lot of, um, that's a lot of and stuff. That was a lot. The instructions state to put the tortillas down with some oil on them and then put the 
chipotle sauce on it. Put the veggies on. And I'm having a hard time getting the veggies on. It's just not working out in my favor. And then I'm writing the instructions to make sure I'm not going to screw this up. And you just throw on the cheese. Put the other one on. And there you have it. Slap it in the back in the oven until the tortilla is nice and crispy. Just like you see, there's everything in there, and that's what we have. I hope you liked this video. If you want me to do more, let me know in the comments down below. Love you guys. Bye.